So the kids are already here. So we have four cousins and four of my kids together. So there's just going to be a lot going on today. But I thought I'd steal away for just a second while they're all content and open day five of the price share sheets advent. Oh, yay! Okay, this is a row counter that you like put your needles through as you go up the rows. And I absolutely love these. I have one that's a, um, that's a one through five. It's like kind of in half, one through five and one, and then six through 10, I guess. Yeah, here it is. Ah, so this is the one that's six through 10 and I use them all the time. Um, but I really do like having the option to have one through 10 together, especially if I'm working on like a sweater or something. And I used to have one and I don't know where it is. And I've even done a whole cleanup of my craft room and everything. And it still, still eludes me. So that's really nice. And look at that little stone on the bottom. It's pretty. Okay, so then I got to this, these stripes last night. Isn't this nice to be able to see stripes instead of just cuffs? So I'm obviously, I haven't done the back of this sock yet. I still need to do that. So it's kind of like a red purpley red that's coming up next and every color that comes up I am I like it the more that I knit it up I'm realizing I probably need to do some measuring because I didn't realize the stripes were gonna be this thick I'm okay with it I just as I was winding it up I thought they would be thinner more like three to four rounds and these are 64 stitches on a size one needle. So, which is a US two or a US one, um, which is a 2.25 millimeter needle. And that, so I'm getting between like five and six rounds and I thought it'd be like three and four, which is fine. But that means that the leg is going to be, I thought I would do a repeat of the 24 stripes and then maybe another one but I think 12 is going to be just fine but I would like to get through all of the stripes and I don't know if 12 stripes is going to be too long for my foot so I'm going to keep going today and then I'm going to measure one of my existing socks against the leg and see how many of these stripes would fit in a foot that way I know how many stripes I should do for the leg so that I have those stripes for the foot. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you know, they've been, they've been fun and I'm going to continue on with them. One of the things that I've realized this morning is that I don't have any like presents to knit. I was trying to think of something that I could knit for my sister because I have her for Christmas this year, but I knit her a pair of mittens earlier in the year and I have them set aside already. And for some reason in my head, I was like, okay, but those, I knit those earlier this year. I need to knit her like something fresh as if the mittens are stale, <laughs> but that's ridiculous. They're wonderful. And I am putting them together with a couple of um, smaller things that I think she would really like and just round that gift right out. So I also have my um, brother-in-law for Christmas this year and he is very much into um, like role-playing games and stuff and so his wish list was very specific and very helpful in that because I um, am not as familiar with his favorite game Warhammer as I am with other games and so I don't play any of them yet maybe someday um I don't play any of them but I am more familiar with some other ones and so it's easier for me to know you know how to expound upon a gift with that so like last year I had my younger sister who plays Dungeons and Dragons and so I made like this dice bag for her that was by Cat Weaver it was really cute 
um, and a couple of other things that were handmade that she was just really, really sweet about. And I mean, they were nice, but also if you know how you give someone something nice and they have like this kind of mediocre reaction, right? But then if you give things that you've made that are really nice to a maker, then they're like, oh my gosh, you know, they know the time that it put you've put into it and like the skills that you've honed throughout the years to be able to do that. And so it was just really fun. So I'm still trying to think if I should make something for him. Um, he shaves his head. And so I was wondering if I should make him like a really soft hat or something. Um, but I'm having trouble, I'm having trouble deciding on that. So, cause he also wears like black and gray most of the time. And so I know if I make him like this colorful hat, he probably wouldn't wear it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm trying to be satisfied with not making him something handmade. Um, I think I will like just shoot him a text and be like, hey, do you want something handmade? Or it's okay if you don't like you can, I would actually rather you tell me no if you don't. Um, but if you do, like, is there something that you're like, man, I really, it'd be nice if she made this for me for Christmas, um, with like zero promises that I'll actually do it. And that's always a fun thing too, is like trying to navigate conversations with people about that. Yeah. Anyway, um... It's so funny, right? Because there are a few people in my life, and my father-in-law was one of those people, he passed away a few years ago, who I know that if I would have made him a hat, he'd have worn it every day, if he, even if he, like, didn't like the colors or didn't like, you know, the style or whatever. He's just one of those people that you would never know if he liked the hat or not, because he would tell you he loved it and he would wear it every day. Because <laughs> he's just that guy so um yeah but it's kind of a weird relief and I'm I'm feeling a bit aimless because of it that I don't feel the need to knit any gifts for anyone this Christmas season other than finishing the socks for my children but that might mean it's actually possible for me to actually finish the socks for my kids <laughs> Ooh, yeah. For some reason, having an impossible goal means that I'm highly motivated to do it. And if it's, like, reasonable, I'm like, well, I don't want to do that now. Like, what kind of challenge is that? <laughs> so I'm going to try and catch up on these stripes for these socks. And then I'm going to see how much of Janie's socks I can get done in a day, probably tomorrow. Because if I can catch up more on these socks and feel like I'm a little bit more um, caught up, I know it's arbitrary, but um, I would like to have two stripes a day going. Um, and right now, because I made a mistake and didn't think about how the beginning of this game probably wouldn't be a full stripe, when I wound them up, I started with the same stripe. I started with this lighter blue one. But when I got to this kind of tealy blue, I got to it on this sock way before I got to it on this sock because, of course, this one is maybe half a stripe. And this one I had cut at a full stripe because I thought that's that's where the, the stripe begins on the first one. So that's... So I had to do a little bit of color management to make them match. And isn't it silly, like the technical, the technicalities of like what we tell ourselves counts or doesn't count because I'm like, should that count as a stripe? <laughs> Cause it's only half a stripe. <laughs> so dumb, but I'm going to be thinking about it. I'm going to, I'm probably not going to count it as a stripe, probably going to. I just keep going until I have, because this means that I have two stripes for December 1st and two stripes for December 2nd. Today's the 5th. 
So that means if I can get six stripes done, which honestly is a lot, um, then I'll be back on track. I don't know. I don't know how well we'll do with that. I do have eight kids here, but honestly, I don't, I don't do a lot of cleaning before or during a bunch of kids being at my house. I do it after. So tomorrow might be me just cleaning and, um, getting as far on Jane's socks as I like see how far I can get on her socks and um, get those. Maybe I could get them to the heel. I only have I only have a couple stripes on hers done and they are uh, one by one rib on the front. So they're like a Roy G. Biv um, rainbow stripe. And I might be able to get them to the heel bow tomorrow. We'll see. Because that would be really nice. Even though I say like I'm not motiv motivated to work on them. Because it's completely possible for me to get them done before Christmas. It, will, it would be nice to just be able to tuck these in her stocking now. Um, and just know that they're in there. It's a weird thing. I'm used to being overwhelmed. I'm used to being overwhelmed around this period of time because I have to put everything on hold for multiple projects that I'm knitting for people and that's just not what's happening. Um, I do want to finish this sweater for my dad um, and my brain is like January 2nd. That's his birthday. That's when I'm going to give it to him and it's that, for some reason, is impossible, but my brain hasn't, my brain hasn't translated that to impossible yet. So it's still, it's still sitting there on the desk, like still, wait, I have my little cable charts and everything copied for the back panel. It's going to take so much brain power, and my, and my mind is still telling me, like, it'll be easy, it'll be fine, it'll be so fast, because it's worsted weight. So, the last sweater you did was sport weight. And, you know, you did it for a test knit, and so you did it in a few weeks. But the thing, not a few weeks, I think eight weeks is how long she gave us. And December, or January 2nd, is less than four weeks away. It's ridiculous. We'll see, friends. Maybe I'll have something big enough that he can actually try on, like, the shoulders and stuff, and it'll be proof of concept. And then, like, I'll know that it fits his torso. Or I'll know that it doesn't, and I'll start over. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a day. Got a lot more done than I thought I would, both housework-wise and knitting-wise. I just realized I had planned to just be home all day tomorrow for some reason in my head, even though I know I'm going to my mother's house for a Christmas get-together in the evening, so I don't know what... Yeah, you know when you double-book yourself in your head and, like... It takes way too long for you to realize that's what you've done. I'm looking at our Christmas tree and realizing my daughter flung a string of beads on it. And it actually looks like a garland, so I might just leave it there. Over there on the Christmas tree. Right up there. Pay no mind to our ginormous television that is crooked on the wall. My husband is gonna build like a built-in cabinet around it and he got this ginormous television. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. I don't know what that phrase even means. My mom used to say it all the time. I think it means anyway, I did get one uh, around on my crochet blanket, my just big old granny square. It's just a big granny square and I finished it a while back finished it obviously I'm still working on it but I planned on that just being it for it it just starts with this square in the middle and I just went around and around and around until I ran out of 
the yarn that would get me around one round. And now I'm adding this green because I actually bought it to test out this yarn brand for my dad's sweater and I tested it and it was great but then when I went back to buy this color again there was a better green I thought for him so I'm just adding this to this now and then um it takes me a while to get around it now because it's quite a bit bigger as it you know as it goes with granny squares and then sorry I'm moving you all around I got almost almost caught up with the advent socks aren't those just cute with each new color I like it a lot I'm contemplating whether I want to have all the stripes in it or not I usually like a pretty long leg on a sock but I'm debating on whether I should just make two pairs of socks or something out of them because this is going to be a long sock. It's going to be a long sock. Maybe because I did the cuff in the contrast mini. Maybe that, or coordinating mini, I guess. Maybe that's why I'm going to have so many stripes in the sock itself. As if the cuff isn't part of the sock. The leg of the sock and the foot of the sock so we've got December 1st 2nd 3rd 4th and then this blue stripe would have been the end of today's stripes but I didn't finish the end of today's stripes because it is 12 47 which means it's technically December 6th anyway at this point so I'm calling it quits and going to bed. Oh, the late night knitting mojo, man. I tell you what, watching Beth Stelling on Netflix, her set was just so good. Really enjoyed that. And then um, just knitting while I was watching her was really great. She's Her delivery is so good. Her material is just ridiculous and relatable at the same time I really really liked it I was drinking the rest of my chai that my sister got me today um she my sister-in-law brought her kiddos right and as it, as she always does she brings me like a a drink or something and so she got me a chai while she was on her way here and it has taken me pretty much all day <laughs> and I've just been reheating it and reheating it and then my husband got me these yogurt pretzels and I'm gonna leave them I'm gonna seal a bag back up but I'm gonna leave them here on the table and I'm sure my kids will demolish them in the morning as part of their breakfast so spent most of the af afternoon helping my youngest son uh, play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom because he's obsessed with getting what he calls the Invisible Friends. If you play that game, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's adorable that he calls it that. So I'm going to brush my teeth and zonk out, hopefully. It feels like one of those nights where I've like pushed it too far and I'm going to just like lay there in bed and have trouble falling asleep because I pushed it too far, but hopefully I can escape it. We'll see. Oh my gosh. I forgot the oranges. Look at them, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh. We'll see how they look tomorrow. Oh, they look bad. Oh, well. Maybe we'll set a timer next time and try again.